This is the Dark Crystal, one of Sierra's very early games. Uh, it's by Roberta Williams. Here's the manual. Oh, hard time clicking on a thing. And it's uh, obviously very heavily based on the movie. I haven't seen the movie recently enough to get some of the hints I think you need to beat the game. Because the game doesn't give you enough hints by itself, which we'll see. Uh, but let's go. Oh. Have I put the right disc in? There we go. Sierra Online. Sierra Venture. There is adventure number six. So I don't know what one through five are, but... Uh, this is number six, apparently. So you start here in this beautiful mountain valley. You're Jen, the last Gelfling. Uh, he believes he's the last of his kind. And it's the Valley of the Stones. Uh, so in a moment, if you just do anything here, this mystic will show up. And tell you that Ursu is dying. So he says come quickly and then walks away. He seems to be on the right side of the screen, which bothers me because Ursu lives all the, oh, I'm pointing it the wrong way, all the way to the left, the west. So I feel like this game doesn't have a good concept of where east and west and north and south are supposed to be. North is usually north. Some of the pictures don't really depict a direction. Despite that, I think it has pretty nice line art. And, um, yeah, so to get to Ursu, we want to go west. There's this little circle of stones here. This is important. We'll come back to it in a moment. Uh, and we keep going west. So we're along a cliff. Oop. You get a beep if you try and press anything while there's... You haven't reached the bottom of the text. So we go into this cave. And then we can go north to this end of the cave. And here's Ursu. Who has a lot of stuff to say to us. We should probably talk to Ursu. So you don't want to put uh, like prepositions or anything in the sentence. You just want to talk Ursu. That's kind of the level this parser's at. Uh, so here Ursu tells you a bit of the history. A, a bit of this in, is in the manual. Um, there's kind of a backstory that the world is kind of broken every thousand years or so. It's three suns align and there's a conjunction and magical stuff can happen. Um... And there was a crystal that was like the source of the power, the magical power, but it broke and there's a shard that needs to be restored to it that you have to find. So you have to find someone named Agra. And I leave you with this final puzzle. What do the Sun Brothers quarrel about? And this I have not found the answer to in the game. The answer is the Moon Daughters. And this is, as Ursu says, uh, Agra wants the answer to this. So I don't know how you're supposed to figure that out. I found it in a walkthrough, and I don't remember that from the movie. So Ursu melts and passes from existence. So I thought it was funny you can't take candles uh, because they are serving some sort of sacred purpose. You can look at the pool of liquid and you'll see an image of a crystal shard, which is kind of interesting. You can't take it because it's just an apparition. But I like it. It's interesting. So the next thing, so you start out on top of this cliff. 
there's not very far to go around here. You can go a little bit to the south, but you just end up, or here, I can show you. Oh, that glyph's in the way. Um, and we'll come back to these stones in just a moment because there's a thing to the east here. Actually, what I should do is show you how you create a save game disc. So this game came on two floppy disks, uh, but they don't want you to use that to save on because that could damage those disks. So you, you have a third disk you put your save on. And to do that, you type init disk. Um, so here you insert, oops. Uh, so I'm using an emulator, so I'm inserting a disk with a menu, but you insert a disk. That is the wrong disk. Oh, I pressed the wrong thing. Uh, forgive me. So you type in it disk. And then you put your save disk in the drive and then you press Y. And then it sort of formats that disk and prepares it for putting saves on it. And then you put the game disk back in your drive. So that's, uh, that's a bit of the experience of how to save in this game. And then if you want to save your game, you type save game. I don't know why I'm mistyping everything today. Uh, so you switch to that disk and then yes, and then you can give it a letter. So let's give it letter A. So it looks like you can save 15 games on a single disk. And then you have to put the, the game disk back in. So the game disk should be right protected so that you'll never, uh, write over them. The right protection was like a notch on the side of the disk. I don't have any five and a quarter disks to show but that's how it went. Uh, and you could actually like put tape over the notch if you really wanted to write to the disc. So part of this game is noticing when it mentions any object at all, because they might be important. Not all of them are, but many of the things it mentions are important. So there's this shale here, uh, which initially I just ignored and wandered off, but you can actually take the shale Uh, and now it's in your inventory. You can't type inventory because that word is too long for this game to understand. It's got a... It looks like it has an eight-letter limit, which is kind of funny, but I guess that's what they did. So the inventory command is actually inv. So that's how you find out what you're carrying. Okay, so the next task in this game and there's not really an order to everything, but there's things you kind of have to do in order. So all these shadows point towards this tree. You can look at the tree, but that's not actually what you need to see. You need to look at the shadows, which point at the ground beneath the tree. Oops. So if you look at the ground, oh, it's telling you the same thing. Uh, you can dig in the ground, but only if you have the shale. And here you find a flute. Oh. So, that's the flute. The flute has a purpose. Uh, it's apparently a crystal detector, kind of. So if you go north, you go down the hill, and you're sort of in this wilderness. Um, hang on a moment, let me find a map. North, 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 east, east, Sling. Okay. All right, so there's a lot of places you can go you can kind of wander through a forest here. Oh, there's a pond here. 
Uh, and there's a the little frog thing. The frog doesn't really do anything. You can look at it. Um, but the lily pad's important. Jen does not seem to have it. That's a good hint <laughs> that you might need it. You can try to take it. Um, but you can't. So this is where the shale comes in important. I'm not sure how this works. Uh, There we go. I don't know how, yeah, so you're supposed to cut the lily pad stem with the shale, which is a sharp tool for you, also a digging tool apparently. Um, but you'll need it later because you can float on it. So that's that. Um, so that's probably a good place to save. Save game B. Put the game disk back in. All right. So further north, there's kind of a lot of wi um, wilderness here. Find like creepers hang everywhere. This is the Dark Crystal, not Tarzan. This game has a bunch of admonitions like that that kind of bother me because you really have to try everything to make your way in this game. And it kind of it mocks you for doing so. Oh, here we go. Here's some ruins. These are interesting. So there's two flat stones. You can look at the stones, and it just says they're large, flat, and smooth. You can look at the wall, but if you sit on the stones, the wall reveals an image. And this, I think, is important. So on the top right is the flute that you found that has like two stems and some holes for your fingers. Uh, on the bottom right, is a gelfling, but it's not you. It's a female gelfling with wings. Apparently the females have wings. That's how gelflings work. Um, the top left is the crystal shard, and the bottom left is a symbol that you need to remember seeing, I guess. Uh, that'll come up later. And in the middle there's this big symbol, which is actually like the big tower of the evil Skeksis that you enter later on in the game. It kind of appears on the, the box or the art, like the movie poster. Um, so it's recognizable if you've looked at that lately, but otherwise, I don't know, it's just some sort of like a jumbly shape with points that's not too distinct. <laughs> uh, but that's what it is. You can look up the Dark Crystal movie poster to see what that is. So if I stand back up, the image disappears. Um, here's another thing. You can talk to the creatures, but again, it says this is the Dark Crystal, not Dr. Doolittle. I didn't know who Dr. Doolittle was until fairly recently or relatively recently. Like, I knew it was a movie, but I'd never seen it. And then there was, like, a... Was there an Eddie Murphy Dr. Doolittle? I can't remember. But it was probably an okay reference for 1983 or whenever this game came out. It was either... I'm not sure if it was 83, 84, 82, around that, around that year. Uh, but anyhow, I don't like that it tells you 
It makes fun of you for trying to talk to creatures. Here's a sling. This sling bothers me because it, in the movie, I believe Kira had the sling and she used it to fend off crystal bats, which do appear in this game. But I can't find any ammunition for the slings, so I don't think you can fend off the bats. Um, so, f I thought further to the east. I can't go east. Oh, okay. So there's two discs, and they're both double sided. The disk drive is only single sided, so what would happen is like you'd take out the disk and flip it to side B or side A. There's a crystal bat. So here's the pod people. Did I do it? It went away. Hmm. So this could be a problem. Anyways, anyway, uh. Oh, here's a Gar theme. So it's game over for me. These are the uh, creature servants of evil that come and kill you. I guess I need to die. I don't know. Look at <laughs> looking at it would be suicide. That's kind of an interesting. Uh... Oh, you can escape it. Okay, the times I'd tried that before it did not work. All right. Um, so I think the crystal bats are kind of scouts for the, uh, guard theme. Eventually. Wait, did I manage to talk to them? I should talk to them. Of course, this is where the, the disc swap happens. There we go. So I hear the pod people tell you why they're called pod people, because their name is actually Epopia Poepedia Pedia Pepo. And that's hard to say. So they explain <laughs> that we call them pod peoples instead. Um Yeah. Anyhow, um that's all you, you can learn from them. Uh, where am I? Okay, so, oops, took in the wrong window. If I go back south a little bit, so there's these chattering flowers. The flowers tell you to listen to the babbling brook. Um, so that's interesting. Because here's the babbling brook. And I mean a babbling brook, that's a, a stock phrase. It doesn't mean it's literally babbling usually, but it does in the dark crystal. I think that was a thing in the movie where the brook talked. Um, so the brook gives you sort of a hint on where to go. There's a path to the east that does not open up uh, unless 
you um, talk to the brook. So this is important. So I think the hint is east, 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 north, 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 maybe, but not quite. Uh, an eerie hush. Path heads west and north. So we end up in this swamp. So at this point, you can't go north a third time. Uh, this is why you needed to cut that lily pot, lily pad. So you put the lily pad down and you float across the swamp with it, which is all right. And that happens. So now there's a crystal bat again. Um, I don't know. I feel like the swing, the sling should knock the bats down, but it doesn't seem to. Uh, so we're in the swamp. Nothing unusual about this slime. So you wander around in the swamp and you get caught in these vines. So you're held tightly. It feels kind of like a game over. Jen can sever no vine before it's time. Well, if only the shale worked right now. Oh, and here comes a hand with an eyeball. So this, uh, this is an, a thing that happened in the, in the movie. Jen went looking for Agra and got caught in the swamp. And here is Agra. She's pulled out her eye and she's using it to inspect Jen more closely. Because apparently her eye looks like that, or it works like that. Not talk to, but talk I. So this is Agra. Gelfling, you know answer to riddle, huh? So, first who told you the riddle uh, was what do the Sun Brothers quarrel about? Um, so the answer to the riddle is actually Moon Daughters. I have no idea where to come up with this. I don't know if this is a line in the movie or what. I don't think there's anything in the game that tells you this answer. You kind of have to say a specific thing right here. Very good. This is a pretty good drawing of Agra from the movie. So here we are in her observatory. She asked me what I want. So I came here for the crystal shard, of course. So she puts four on the table because she's got them all. So what Ursu said was that the Skeksis made three fake crystals. 
or three fake crystal shards to throw off the search for the real one. I never could figure out which shard belonged to crystal. You can only take one shard with you. Once you pick, you're not allowed to change your mind, so choose carefully. Uh, so, this is a good place to save your game, I think. Save that as C. Put the game disc back in. Um, so what happens if you take, say, the orange crystal? This seems really mean, because if you take the wrong one, it won't work, I think, at the end of the game. So I haven't gone through the whole game to figure out what happens if you have the wrong crystal, but... So what happens if you play the flute, the blue shard glows, which is weird to me because it would have been purple in the movie. I don't know if he played the flute to discover the right crystal or something in the movie. I got to watch it again. But um, as I've been saying, all the clues for what to do are not present in this game. <laughs> it's kind of uh, mean this way. All right, so I'm not allowed to take another crystal at this point, so I have to restore game. Load game doesn't work, it has to be restore. Oh no. The Gareth theme have come. <laughs> it's too late to reload my game. Uh. The, f the last hope for fulfillment of the prophecy dies, the crystal unhealed remains darkened, and when the great conjunction of the three suns happens, the rule of the evil Skeksis is reconfirmed forever. Would you like to play again? Yes. If you, if you type no, the game just stops right there, like it hangs, basically, and you can do nothing. So I don't know why you'd ever press no. There's no reason to. It just sort of... Ends your game. All right. Uh, so it was C. Put my disc in. Put the game disc back in. And there we go. So here we're looking at the crystals again. Um, so you want to play the flute which somehow resonates with the crystal magically. So we take the blue one. So if we wait a little while here, It's interesting that the observatory is longer than eight letters. Recognizes that word, but it doesn't recognize inventory. It'll say inventory is, a, is not a <laughs> proper verb. So the verbs are li limited to eight letters, but not the nouns. It is a, a, a very strange and rudimentary parser, I must say. Um... 
There's a spinning model of the three suns and their planets. Hole in the ceiling. Along the west wall, there is a small window. You don't get that when you look. You have to look observatory. When you look... Oh, well, I guess it's going to say there's no time for that. Um, so the... The guard thing have come for Agra and me. I gotta escape. Oh, they set it on fire. Wow. So, I got out, but I think Agra's a little bit doomed here. Oh, apparently when I when she had the eyeball and she was holding it up to you in the swamp, you could have said talk hand. I regret not doing that because talk to the hand is it amuses me. Um so we're in that bog again. So if we go south here and I think there's an exit to the west. And I get stuck. Uh, it's sort of a quicksand moment. So here, what you have to do is notice, um, so there's a gelfling over there. It look doesn't even tell you that. I'm really disappointed at how bad this game is at telling you like what's in the scene that you can interact with. Jen finds himself staring into the eyes of a beautiful female gelfling. Jen is mired in a bog. Um, Jen cries help. The girl grabs a long branch and helps Jen out of the bog. All right, so we go into the second disc now. So here we are. Her name is Kira, and she has a pet Fizzgig. She thought she was the only living Gelfling, Gelfling but uh, nope, there was another. It was Jen. Um, so here we've met Kira. This gig has a lot of teeth. Using a Gelfling power called Dream Fasting, they share thoughts and feelings without even having to speak. That's interesting. <laughs> uh. So, there's a big shell here. I don't know why I'm misspelling everything tonight. It's <laughs> weird to me. My spelling is usually quite good. Like, being a programmer, I'm used to having to type words exactly right. I think maybe whenever I'm not programming, I intentionally relax my spelling abilities. Beetle shell appears to be empty. This is another thing that bothers me about the game, because... You know, I saw a shell, I knew to look at it. You can turn it over. And it's not empty, there's a thing in it that you need. Um, and it's funny, so you've got this pouch. You can look in the pouch, but it's closed. So you gotta open the pouch. Can't spell anything. So now you can look in the pouch. So there's smoke seeds. The purposes of this isn't clear. 
I think this is another thing that maybe Kira had in the movie. But I don't really remember. Uh, I should really save the game here. Oops. So this is B, D. The game disk back in. Okay. So there's a swift current. You can get in the shell and you'll start growing it somewhere. Which actually goes back to the pod village that you were at before. So here they are. I don't, were they playing a guitar before? I don't remember that. But I like how you can see Jen and Kira in the village now. I don't see Fuzzgig. Fizzgig? Fuzzgig? Uh, okay, so she's friends with the pod people. Um, so what's next? Right, okay. So we want to leave this place. Except, a car theme appears. So now that we have the smoke seeds, we can throw a seed at the gar theme to throw it off. I like those claws in the air in the background. That's pretty cool. There's, there's Fizz Gig running away. So, um... We're back to the forest, but it appears the pod village has been destroyed. So that's sad. Hope the pod people are still alive, but it is unclear. Um, so here's a rock with a spiral on it. If you come here early in the game, earlier in the game, the spiral is covered with moss. This creature is still here though. Again, you can't talk to it. You can look at it, it just says it's hungry. The creature is finishing off a delicious meal of Gilyak moss. Oh, okay. So if I had come here earlier, there would have been moss on the rock, and it would, would have said the creature was hungry. I thought it was hungry for me, but it was hungry for the moss. That's funny. So I don't know what the meaning of the spiral is, though. Like, why, why was there a rock here with moss that gets eaten away halfway through the game to reveal this spiral? Yeah, so... I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know what this is for. Uh, anyhow, we can keep moving on. So here we are, and there's some land striders. They're these long-legged beasts. I guess they're like horses, but with really long legs. So we can jump. Um... Jump on. Okay. So you want to jump on the land striders. And now they're kind of your own beasts of burden, I guess. Uh, to the west of here. I like this picture of them all riding on the land striders through the forest. Like normally you'd be on the ground here, but there's a nice high level perspective. So here you come to a ravine. If you had come here earlier in the game, you just couldn't have crossed. 
But now, with their long legs, the Landstriders have no trouble carrying Jen, Kira, and Fizzgig safely to the other side of the chasm. So here you are. On the other side of the chasm, chasm is a large desert. Um, so I think I need to go west a bit. The heat more, grows more oppressive by the minute. A bleak barren land, no life anywhere. Can't go anymore. So here you can wander through the desert for a while. There's a hideous castle to the west. So this is the Skaxi's big castle. Oh no. So there's a bunch of Garthim here. And we jump off the Landstriders, but the Gar theme are going to fight the Landstriders. Very sad. I don't think they're going to make it. One of them's dead already. The other is fighting a losing battle. Uh, and we're at the edge of a cliff. And actually our only route of escape here. So I think if I tried to save my game, it'll tell me there's no time. <laughs> oh, oh no. So we've been captured. Yeah, don't mess around when the Garthim are on your tail. Uh, so I gotta go back and rush th through this a little bit. Um... Where was I at? Game D? I think this was back at the Beetle. Yeah, okay. Uh, go Beetle. In the shell. Okay, so we're in the pod village. I wonder if they have anything to say now that Jen is here, or Kira is here. No. But, as we try to leave, there's a Gar theme. So this is kind of a scripted event, I guess you could say, where the Gar theme throw, show up and uh, wreck the village. And you've got to throw a seed. Oh, also you can press enter to look at the last things that have been said in case you need a refresher. Which is kind of cool. I think that's a good feature. I don't remember any of the other uh, CR games having that. So here's the spiral, which I don't understand. So you can't jump land strider, you have to jump on. I wonder if you could climb on them. I wonder if we'd accept that. But anyhow, we'll just uh, speed through that a little bit. Why does it have to beep for that? I didn't make a mistake. It's just telling me that there's, I gotta press return before the next thing. I like how the Landstriders have these whiskers. So we head to the castle. So we can't hesitate here. What you have to do is jump off the side of the ravine. Oh, and here we enter the second side of the second disc. So this is kind of the late stage of the game. Um, so Kira is falling with wings. So you want to grab onto her because she can fly and you can't because you're a male gelfling with no wings. So 
so here we are at the bottom of the ravine and there's this weird door so i'm going to save my game here put in my call it game e oops hope that saved that didn't feel right I think I clicked the wrong thing before when I was selecting a disc. So that's another thing about playing old Apple II games. You got to remember having like a couple of floppy disks sitting on the desk next to you ready in case you need to switch and doing that. <laughs> this emulator doesn't simulate a floppy disk sound, which is probably for the best because those, I don't know. There's no substitute for that floppy disk drive clucking like a like a hen. Um, so this is not the door you want to go into. There's multiple doors down here. So if you go east, there's one with the triangle symbol on its head, which is actually what you need. Um, so right now, you can't fit through the gate. But Fizzgig can. I don't know how you're supposed to figure this out, but you can you can send Fizzgig. Maybe this happened in the movie. I can't I can't recall. Um, so you send Fizzgig through the bars of the gate, and Fizzgig is inside so you have to wait looking at the gate will wait for a return uh here's fizz gig with some keys so somehow you found the keys in there it's on it's locked so do i still have i have a pouch So, use key. Okay. There we go. So I can just open it now. Um, so we go inside here. So there's a this neat Roboros symbol here. The serpent is the Skeksis symbol of power. Skeksis myth teaches that it is seeking not to swallow its own tail, but the entire world. So it's the world serpent. I I find that strange that it it borrows that one idea from Norse mythology so directly. Uh, I might as well save our game here. Oops. Uh, okay, let's see if this works. So what were we, where were we at? Was the last one E? Let's save F. Okay. So this is a maze. There's not really anything interesting in this maze, uh, if I recall. So once we're in the maze, um, south, east and west. The door. Let's see if we open the door. Can't open the door. Um, west. Strange sounds are coming to 
the south. Okay, so this is actually what we wanted to happen. There's sort of this event where Skeksis finds us and grabs Jen, or not Jen, grabs Kira. He touches an unseen lever and boulders fall. Okay. So now I'm in a pit of Garthim, but they're asleep. So Oh, except they've awakened. So apparently you're just supposed to run away. No? Uh Just run. They smash a hole in the wall. That's funny. So let's go in the hole. There we go. We've escaped. Um, flaming lake of fire below. And you can hear them clattering in the mine there. So here we're getting pretty close to the end. Um, we want to climb up. Oh, we found Agra. Let's save here. Uh, I think we're at G. Oops. There's no time to talk. <laughs> no time. Well, I guess, but don't didn't you want to be untied? Um we go up. All right, so now we're in the chambers of the tower, which are kind of footsteps are approaching from the north, so I better run south. And then we go to the west. So by going there, I just barely avoided a bunch of Skeksis coming in and and uh, stopping the party by finding me. So here we go. I'll just save there in the closet here. Now we leave the closet. Um. Right, so the Skeksis just went into this dining room, and now that they're occupied, I can actually sneak in behind them. So there's this cur curtain at the back. So I can go behind the curtain. And I hear them talking about a secret panel. So now I know about a secret panel. Um, it keeps telling me that there's filth everywhere. I love this. It's a filthy place. So there's a scepter on the ground. Now the game's being kind and actually telling you that there's a thing. So you take it. And then we can go east to the tower where it needs to be used.
there's a secret panel in the wall. So I think you need to hear about the panel from the Skeksis or else it won't appear. Not entirely certain, certain though. Oh, okay. So use scepter doesn't work, but use hook does, because there's the hook on the end of the scepter. And you use that to pull open the panel. So I don't know if sneaking behind the curtain, that seems like something that happened in the movie, but I don't... I gotta watch it again. <laughs> I really do. Uh, but... I think I can just go through here. And go up. And east. And now I'm overlooking the ceremony. They've got the big crystal there that I've got to stick the shard into. And they've got Kira there. I don't know what they're doing with her. Uh, and Fizzgig's there. But anyhow, we... Uh, just want to jump onto it. Oh no, I dropped the shard while I was jumping. Oh, the three suns are touching. It's time. It's time for the great conjunction. So here she's uh, going to throw me the crystal. But the Skeksis says he'll kill her if she does it, if she throws it to me. So if I say yes, I'll jump down, but then the Skeksis will rule the world forever. So I have to abandon Kira, unfortunately, even though she's the last of my kind. We don't save her, and he, he does kill her. But I can, I can stick the shard in the crystal and heal the world. So the... the Chamber is bathed in radiant light. The Garthium are crumbling. The filth is crumbling, revealing its original crystalline purity and beauty. The evil reign of the Skeksis is over. It doesn't even explain that the Skeksis and the Mystics have just merged into the Urskex that we see behind here. Uh... Which, I don't know, maybe I wouldn't notice, because I'm concerned with Kira here, who's just been stabbed. The Skeksis are no more. The shining crystal pours forth all the songs of all the years that remain darkened and silent. Hmm. I can't bring Kira back to life by itself. What does Fizzgig think? That will not help at all. Does it know what an Urskex are? This game doesn't even know what an Urskex is. They're, they're right there. They're behind me. So I can't talk to her because she's dead. Apparently we can kiss her. I don't think this is how she was healed in the movie, but maybe. Maybe. So we kiss Kira, and she comes back to life.
The two Galflings and all creatures can live peacefully together in a world to which harmony after a thousand years of darkness has been restored. Thanks for playing the Dark Crystal. So this is it. This is the end of the game. You can't actually do anything from here. You press return and it's kind of a hang screen. You gotta restart your computer if you want to do anything else. So that's that's the Dark Crystal for Apple II. A Roberto Williams game. Apparently it's their sixth adventure game. I don't know what one to five are. Um, and I don't think the solution is very fair. It's maybe discoverable, but it would take a lot of time, a lot of repetition and combing over things that you'd probably miss the first time. And then, and then the Moon Daughters thing. I don't even know what where that comes from. Maybe that's a line in the movie. You really need to watch the movie to get this. And this was, this was 1983 or 1984. Like, you'd have to have it on VHS or, or beta. Beta might have been the thing at the time. Uh, to like rewatch the movie and get the clues. Like, I mean, it seems kind of outlandish. <laughs> what the game requires of you. Anyhow, that's that's it. That's all of it. So, in a moment, I have a second game I want to play. Um, let me put the disc in. And let me update my description. So I'll just reload to make sure it's usually doesn't take a moment to take effect here. I'm going to try it again. Here we are. Gelfling Adventure. There we go. So that should now have the correct name. I don't think I need the manual. Oh no, did I leave that up the whole time? I left that up the whole time. Ah, uh, that makes me sad. Ah, uh, that makes me sad. I played the whole game with that on top of the screen. <laughs> oh well, that'll be it. I'm not going to do it again. I'm sad about that.